Oi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. We are back with some more tips and predictions. Heading into finals week two, the semi-finals. Both exciting and sad as this season has flown by. Before we dive into this week's team list though, let's go ahead and take a look at how we did last week. First and foremost, we get the bakery out of the way. One of the boys did salute, that's KP with a captain's efforts. Been a pretty shocking debut year for the bakery. Even though it's kinda random, um, we'll keep a tally of it next season for sure. As for our picks, well, we did go 4 from 4. The results last week are not really shocking or surprising, especially the prelim qualifiers, but what I will say about the elimination matches, they were a lot closer than what I predicted, especially that final game with the Raiders putting in such a gritty Canberra Raiders to a T type performance, you know? As for the Sharks and Roosters game, that one was a little more, a little tough to watch. The negative play was through the roof, with both teams combining for 27 errors. In terms of quality, you could definitely see the difference between the top four and bottom four. But yeah, let's go ahead and look at these uh, team lists for the semis and make some predictions. So here's what we'll do. We'll go through the outs real quick, and then we'll go through the lineup and sections. So backs, halves, forwards, and the bench. Starting with the Storm, we got Pappenhausen, obviously unavailable, Xavier Coates, and Young Tuna Pa. And for the Roosters, it's Billy Smith, Joey Manu, and Joey Suwa'ali'i. In their official team list, with the Storm, the back five, we got Nick Meany, Will Warbrick, Marion Sever, Justin Ollum, and Remus Smith return. With, uh, obviously, Munster and Hughes as their halves. For the Chooks, we got James Tedesco, Feta Lainga Paunga, Paul Momorowski makes his return, as does Corey Allen and Jackson Paolo to the wing. Their halves are Luke Keary and Sam Walker. The Storm Pack, we got Tubi Kamikamitha, Harry Grant, Christian Welsh, Trent Loyero, Eliesa Gartoa, and Josh King. For the Roosters, Fletcher Baker, Brandon Smith, Lindsay Collins, Siwa Wong, Nat Butcher, and Victor Radley. And for the bench, all surprising they've gone heavy. The Storm, Alec McDonald, Tom Eisenhuth, Nelson Osofa Solomona, and Tarek Sims. And for the Roosters, Sandin Smith, Egan Butcher, and Angus Crichton. As for my pick, like I was saying about the Storm, I'm a little surprised that they went with a full-on heavy bench with Alec McDonald in the 14, and not see a live wire in Suafa Alongo, who was pretty handy off the bench for them a couple weeks ago. And saying that, there's no real lack of creativity with a spine that consists of Grant, Munster, and Hughes along with Nick Meany at the back. For the Roosters, what are they on, like a five game win streak right now? Not to take anything away from their win streak, and I'm about to, but the teams they beat weren't the greatest, and the couple big name teams in there, they were without some of their big dogs. So yeah, there isn't really much to take away from that uh, little win streak they got going on. I do think the Storm come away with the win in this one, mostly for the aforementioned players in their spine. If the Chooks win this, it'll be on the back of Lindsey Collins and Victor Radley, but yeah, I don't see that happening. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Storm here, Back at home, I'm actually going to go 13 plus. And for the bakery, we're going to go ahead and throw Cam Munster on the list. And for the second semi, we head over to New Zealand, Mount Smart, sorry, Go Media Stadium for the Warriors and the Knights. No outs for the Warriors. For the Knights, though, they, they're without a couple of key players in Jackson Hastings and Lachlan Fitzgibbon. And their official team list, starting with the back five. For the Warriors, Chance Nicol Klockster, Dallin Watene Zelezniak, Rocco Berry, Adam Pompey, Marcelo Montoya. And in the halves, Temaide Martin and Sean Johnson. I believe is 50-50 uh, once again, but I'll bet that he plays. And for the Knights, they got KP, Dom Young, Dane Gagai, Bradman Best, and Greg Mazu. A full strength back five with Tyson Gamble and Adam Kloon stepping in for Jackson Hastings. Moving on to the engine room for the Warriors, we got Adam Fanor Blake, Wade Egan, Mitch Barnett, Jacko Ford, Marata Neil Kore, and Tohu Harris. And for the Knights, we got Jacob Saifiti, Phoenix Crossland, Leo Thompson, Tyson Frizzell, Dylan Lucas steps in for Fitzgibbon, and Adam Elliott at 13. And for the bench, the Buller Brothers, Dylan Walker, Jazz Tavanga, Bailey Surinan, and Josh Curran. Pretty mobile, and for the Knights, we've got Kurt Mann, Daniel Saifiti, Jack Hetherington, and Matt Croker. As for my pick in this absolute heater of a match, quite the mountain for the Knights to climb who are on a hot streak. I mean, they've won 10 in a row since losing a Penrith. I've got to say, the turnaround from KP, super unexpected. Everyone knew the potential he had, and uh, this season he's definitely delivered. I mean, I saw O Knights fans just dumping on him every single week. Like he was intentionally going out there and getting injured and copping concussions. Like, come on, man. Those same people are now riding his meat. <laughs> Funny how that works. But yeah, stoked for KP to come out on top of all of that adversity. Super typical from the Knights skipper. I say all that to say this. 
I do think it's the end of the road for the Knights. Coming off a bloody 90 minute grueler to now having to travel over to NZ. Yeah, I'm not liking their chances. But it'll be another greedy battle between the packs, Funnel Blake, Barnett, an absolute dog. How about that catch from him last week? I can't wait for it, eh? But yeah, I'm going off the home side in this. And for the bakery, we're going to go ahead and throw in some edge back rows have been good to me this season, so we'll go with one now. Let's go with Jacko Ford for the bakery. Yep, we'll lock it in. Warriors 1 to 12, Jacko Ford. So to wrap, we are taking. In game 1, the Storm 13 plus, Cameron Munster for a meat pie, and for game 2 we got the Warriors 1 to 12 with Jackson Ford bagging himself a meat pie. As always boys, if you have any tips and predictions of your own, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you have any predictions for try scorers, let us know as well. For now though, we're going to wrap it up there. As always, if you did enjoy that, be sure to run straight to the like button. And for more rugby league related content and more content in general, go ahead and sub to the channel. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you. you, you, you. Later.